in the middle of the gum line of the old crown. The CAD CAM procedure was used to create her a new crown in the office after removing the old crown and the decay. This was done with no molds and no temporary, with a single local anesthetic injection. Her all ceramic, totally customized crown was created in a single visit while she waited. An image was taken of her old crown's anatomy after checking to make sure that her bite was perfect. Basically, her existing anatomy was copied as there was nothing wrong with the shape, contour, and bite of her old crown. The crown and the decay were then removed. Notice the isolation mechanism at the bottom of the screen. This isolate mechanism helps evacuate the mercury vapor from the old amalgam flowing that the old dentist had left underneath the old crown. The laser is then used to delineate the margins or the edge where the crown will meet the natural tooth structure. This ensures a perfect seal, which is accurate to five hundredths of a millimeter or 50 microns. An opaquing powder was then used so that the camera scanner of the CEREC acquisition unit could take an infrared image of the situation. The before image was then combined with the after image in the CEREC program. The tooth in question was then separated from the adjacent teeth. The edges or margins were then defined in the program as represented by the green line that follows. This line is accurate to within 50 microns or 5 hundredths of a millimeter. The edges are then checked and any corrections are made, as you can see in this case on the distal aspect of the prepared tooth. The before image data was then brought up so that the dentist could tell the program exactly what portions of the old anatomy were to be copied. The CEREC program then superimposes the copied data from before over the prepared tooth after and creates a rough draft. Here we are customizing the rough draft that a computer generated. Adding contacts in this case where the new crown will touch the adjacent teeth. The colors quantify exactly where and how hard the new crown will touch the adjacent teeth, ensuring there won't be any food or plaque traps between the teeth. The CEREC program then sends the virtual crown data to the robotic milling unit, which uses diamonds to carve the crown out of a block of solid porcelain. In this case, a blue ceramic material known as lithium disilicate was chosen, as this is a very strong porcelain material that is very unlikely to ever fracture or break. Eight to nine minutes later, the crown emerges from the milling chamber and is then tried in the mouth in case adjustments are necessary. In this case, absolutely no adjustment was needed. The crown was then customized to match the patient's natural teeth by using stains and glazes. Akin to glazing pottery, the crown was then placed under heat and vacuum to permanently integrate these colors, greatly strengthening the porcelain and to force a phase change whereby the blue porcelain becomes tooth colored. 30 minutes later, the tooth is now tooth colored and ready to bond in the mouth. Notice the use of the isolation mechanism again which helps to ensure an excellent bond between the porcelain crown and the remaining natural tooth structure. Isolation protocols are paramount to ensure successful CAD-CAM outcomes. Finish permanent crown the same day with a better seal, absolutely no metals in the per